Do not make the same mistake I did. Like using all of your three star weapons as fodder. Howdy, my name is Tara and I hope you're having a terrific day as always. And if you are not, this video is about to make your day just a little bit better. As you are sitting there wondering how exactly to build your characters, do not overlook three star weapons like I did. Some three star weapons are legitimately top tier and you'll get use out of them during your entire playtime within Genshin Impact. It can be easy to get distracted by some of those shiny four star or five star weapons, but after using some of the three star weapons that I'm about to talk about, you'll understand just how valuable they can really be. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments any three star weapons that you have found success in using. Also, do not forget to check me out on Twitch where I am currently primarily playing Genshin Impact. Link found in the description. We're going to start by talking about some three star bows that are incredibly useful in Genshin Impact. The first weapon we're going to be talking about is Slingshot and this weapon is going to be really great on bow users who are also your primary damage dealers. It has a secondary stat which boosts your crit rate while making normal and aimed damage increase by up to 60%. There is a downside of this weapon though which is you'll have to play a little bit more up close as targets not hit within 0.3 seconds will decrease your damage by 10%. This is kind of easy to avoid though and it shouldn't really hinder you that much. The next bow we're going to be talking about is the Raven Bow and the Raven Bow can be seen as one of the best three star weapons for the two most used bow users Fischl and Venti. As bow users are typically used more in a supportive damage roles, they are heavily used for their elemental skill and elemental burst. The Raven Bow's secondary stat is elemental mastery and will increase damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Pyro by up to 24%. And while Fischl and Venti are not Hydro or Pyro units, they are put into team composition and paired with users who typically are. In addition, having that elemental mastery to boost elemental reactions will greatly influence your total damage output. Now let's talk about some three star catalysts, which honestly has one of the most exciting weapons in the three star category. The Thrilling Tells of Dragon Slayers is a weapon that is being deemed the best three star weapon out of all of the three star weapons due to its absurd effect. The catalyst has a secondary stat of health percentage and an effect which will increase the next character you swap to's attack by up to 48 percent. I have honestly built both of my primary team compositions around this weapon, giving it to Lisa and Sucrose who don't even need that secondary stat of health percentage. I aim to swap them in and then quickly switch to my main damage dealer with the now busted amount of attack that they have. I have also often seen this weapon used on Barbara due to her health scaling healing, but I opt instead to just include an additional catalyst user to keep Barbara equipped with prototype malice. The next catalyst we're gonna be talking about while very different from thrilling tales of dragon slayers is the magic guide. The magic guide is more damage orientated having an elemental mastery secondary stat and an effect which increases damage against enemies affected by hydro or electro by up to 24%. This is a weapon that you probably would want to use on someone like Mona or Lisa and possibly Sucrose if you have the team composition to enable her. Next up we're going to be talking about claymores which is kind of like a stuffed category in my opinion. There are just a lot of really good claymores in Genshin Impact so for this reason I picked three of the top three star claymores to put into this category. The first claymore we're going to be talking about is the Blood Tainted Greatsword. And as I mentioned before, there are a plethora of great claymores at your disposal, but the Blood Tainted Greatsword is a fantastic introductory weapon. Just like some of the other weapons, this one also has a elemental mastery secondary stat and an effect which increases damage against enemies affected by Pyro or Electro by up to 24%. This weapon works perfectly on characters such as Razor or Deluke just with one downside and that is that it has an elemental mastery secondary stat. This means that you'll want to build your team compositions with the capability to enable elemental reactions otherwise this weapon will fall behind other three star claymore options. The next claymore we're going to be talking about is the debate club which is kind of a perfectly named weapon. This weapon fits in that I don't care about builds I just want to do damage claymore. It has an attack secondary stat along alongside an effect which will cause an on-hit aura to activate 
wherein for 15 seconds every three seconds, attacks will cause additional AoE damage up to 120% attack damage. Basically, damage is good. Enough said. The next three-star Claymore is honestly one that I think is the best in-slot three-star Claymore. The Sky Rider Claymore. It looks pretty awesome. It has a physical damage bonus secondary stat, and the effect will cause on-hit attacks to increase both attack and defense by 10% up to four times for six seconds. This weapon is similar to White Blind, which is the crafted four-star weapon, but even with one less refinement, I found that my Skyrider Greatsword at the same level pulled ahead by about 10% more damage than White Blind. So basically, this is an amazing weapon that is worth investing in if you're willing to sacrifice that White Blind's offensive secondary stat. The fourth weapon category that we're talking about today is pole arms, and unfortunately, three-star pole arm options are really lacking in this game. If all you have is three-star pole arms at your disposal, Honestly, just aim for one that has the secondary stat that you want for that character rather than their effects because the effects aren't that great. Now the fifth and last weapon category that we will be talking about will be swords and swords are definitely more exciting than the pole arms. The first sword we're going to be talking about is the cold still which is yet another weapon with the up to 24% damage increase against enemies affected by hydro or cryo. But there is one main difference on this weapon which is that it increases attack rather than elemental mastery on the secondary stat. This means that it's a pretty good weapon on characters like Chi as she scales with attack or any other sword users you want to swap to after applying an element. As for the last three star weapon that we will be talking about today, it's going to be the Filet Blade. The Filet Blade is a unique three star weapon that at first I did not see the potential in. It has an attack secondary stat with an effect where on hit there is a 50% chance to deal up to 400% attack damage to a single enemy and can occur up to once every 11 seconds. The way you use this weapon is on a character you intend on swapping in to get that damage effect off and then swapping back out. It will give you massive damage spikes and is a weapon that kind of creates its own play style within itself. So now, Get out there and invest in some of those three-star weapons I mentioned with peace of mind. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. And you can also head over to my Discord for more game help or check me out sometime on Twitch. Links found in the description. Bye-bye now.